One method of looking behind what is going on inside Node-RED is to generate your own node. All of the details of how to do this are provided on the Node-RED site, but here we're going to unravel them slightly, selecting a minimal subset just to get something working by way of an initial practical demonstration. Before we start, there are two riders. The first is that you should back up your Node-RED installation, or at least make a copy of the important flows before playing around. And the second is I'm going to work on the assumption that you've followed my previous video on securing Node-RED, and at least have followed the section on upgrading to the latest version of Node-RED, away from the default version supplied with the standard Raspbian distribution. If these instructions are not clear, then this video may not be for you. If it is, or you fancy a challenge, we'll progress. Open a new terminal screen, and as user Pi, you'll be directed to your home directory of slash home slash Pi. You will see all of the contents of this directory by entering ls-la. The standard colour scheme displays the files in white text and the directories in blue. Files and directories that start with a full stop are special hidden files, or directories that will not appear when you just use the standard ls. You need to know this, as these are where a lot of the contents we are going to use or change are housed. We're going to make changes to Node-RED, and here we have to conform to certain standards or conventions to ensure that our modifications can cooperate and integrate with all of the existing elements of the system. Node-RED relies on Node.js, so care with any data entry is needed to ensure that we do not break things. The first step is to lay out the new files and directories in the conventional manner, and here the usual style is to confine all developments to separate directories. This is the structure we are going to follow. We begin in Pi's home directory, where the .node-red directory should be seen here. We need to make this first directory, announcing the meaningful title of the project, all in lowercase. Make the node-red contrib first node. First node is the name I've selected for this video, and node-red-contrib- is a conventional way of stating that this is a contribution and not part of the main core of Node.js or Node-red you will see the title contrib used in a lot of other packages. Change into the directory just made. cd node red contrib first node. Now, we will also stick to the convention by quickly making these three files and another directory. The touch command just makes blank entries, so for quick reference, simply enter touch license readme.md and package.json. The capitalization should be followed as Linux is case sensitive and we are currently in conformist mode. We will return to these files shortly. Now we need to generate another directory, make the first node. I've chosen first node and entered it with a capital N. This is deliberate and is referenced as camel case. Confirm this by typing ls-la to display this creation. Now change down into that directory, cd first node. Now we need to make another two files and a directory, so repeating the step, touch first node.html, first node.js, and make the icons. Prove this has worked with ls-a, and descend further into the icon subdirectory, cd ls-la. It's empty. We need a small icon in this folder, so to speed things up, insert a small image, or trust me, trust me, folks, and transfer one by downloading from this wget address. ls-la shows it's all there. With the icon in place in the directory structure, move up one level, cd dot dot, and ls-la to confirm it's been achieved and we can see the two important but empty files touched earlier, firstnode.html and firstnode.js. The HTML file controls the manner in which the node is presented inside the Node-RED editor, and the JS JavaScript file is where all of the work is done. Nano firstnode.html. Copy the capitalization and enter this. All the HTML file has in it are these three JavaScript scripts that map to the three sections of the editor, like this. The first registers the node, providing the category and the color of the node that appears in the palette. It has one input and one output, and the reference to the icon dealt with a second or so ago. And finally, the return. The second script contains the formatting of the help page, and the final script formats the flyout. The references to first node ties everything together. Control O, Control X, and save this HTML file. Now open firstnode.js, the JavaScript file. Nano firstnode.js. Copy the capitalization again and enter this. The module here is an export for Node-RED and introduces the node to Node-RED. Next, our function is created when called. It's called a constructor. This is the listener 
and this outputs our jubilation. This is where the real work of the node is carried out, even though this is just a minimal example. Finally, this registers our node. Control O, Control X, and save the JavaScript file. Recapping, ls minus la. The JavaScript file performs the work, and the HTML file presents how it's seen inside the editor. The final important file of the three is the JSON file that is the glue to interconnecting everything. For this, we need to go back up one level, so cd dot dot and ls minus la to confirm. Open the empty package.json made earlier by entering nano package.json. Watch the capitalization and enter this. Control O, Control X and save. The three important files have now been generated and need to be introduced to Node-RED. In the directory with the package.json file, enter sudo npm link to tell the package manager to enter a symbolic link for our files. We can confirm that this has gone into place by doing an ls-la on the link directory. And there it is. And lastly, we jump to the hidden directory seen earlier, slash home slash pi slash dot node red, and link our directory using npm link node red contrib first node. And reboot to complete. On return, we navigate into the node red editor. And there should be our first node in its own category. Drag it out onto the canvas. Click on the info and pull out, which appears as designed. Finally, connect the input and debug node. In the coming videos, we will be securing MQTT. In the interim, if you like this video, please click the like below. Thank you.